How do you do my friends on YouTube? Danny here. So Italy is by far my most favourite place to visit. I absolutely love the food, the culture, the people and just the way that they live their life. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate a special dish that I had in Portofino which is a really simple lasagna. So today I'm making this lasagna for two people and here are the ingredients. You need four sheets of freshly rolled pasta and you cut them into that sort of shape, approximately the size of a beer mat. Some freshly made basil pesto. If you want to learn how to make this pesto, I've got another video, there's a link that appears in the video. Handful of basil, just torn and shredded by hand. And some freshly grated pecorino cheese, a couple of handfuls. Okay, let's get cooking. Okay, so now it's time to cook the pasta. I've got some salted boiling water there. Make sure that you don't overcook this pasta because you don't want it sticking together and to, for it to be one big soggy mess. About three minutes should do it. So now the pasta's been cooking for around three minutes. Turn it off and then you drain it, making sure that you save some of that water, the salted water that it's been cooking in. You take some of that salted water, add it back into the pot that you were cooking in. Just a kind of splash, a big tablespoonful or a big one of these spoonfuls. Grab your pasta, drain off any excess water there and then simply add to the pan. Whoa being a bit more careful than I was. <laughs> and the next step then is, you've got your lovely pasta over here, is to add some of that beautiful homemade pesto, my favorite. A handful of the pecorino cheese, grated. Add some of your fresh basil to the pasta. Come over here and have a look at this. You sort of mix it all together like this. That's a little bit too much water I've put in, but it's still going to be fine because it'll, it'll uh, evaporate away. Okay, so now it's time to plate up. You just take that lovely pasta, arrange it on your dish like this, on your plate. And I know you're probably thinking, that's not like the lasagna I make. Well, trust me, having freshly made pasta, basil, pecorino, uh, and that incredible pesto means that it will taste absolutely delicious. So you can have a little bit more pesto on top there. And if you like me, you love your cheese, so a little bit more pecorino. Some of the basil. So there we go, my recreation of the lasagna dish that I had in Portofino. All that's left to do now is to eat this little baby with some lovely salad, some bread and a glass of wine. So there you have it, I'm sitting down to lunch this beautiful lasagna that I've recreated from when I had it in Portofino. I'm just serving it with a simple salad of radicchio baby lettuce, uh, baby jam lettuce that is, with a lemon and olive oil dressing. It's just so easy this dressing, it's the juice of one lemon six teaspoons of uh, extra virgin olive oil, some salt and pepper, some freshly baked bread, some olives, crostini, which I absolutely love, glass of red wine. Now, if you look at this table, it looks like I'm, I've served enough for a mountain load of people. It's only just for me, but if anyone out there would like to join me for lunch one day, just let me know and I'd be glad to cook you this lasagna from Portofino. The taste test. I'd be lying if I said it was as good as the one I had in Portofino because obviously it was summer, it was beautiful, I was on holidays, but that's pretty good, not bad at all. I love the pesto of course, and you just can't go, or you can't get anything better than freshly made pasta. So if you want to see more recipes like this, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time on YouTube. Ciao!